Hey everyone, this is the Gen 3 Hunter here, back again with another video. And today you join me back again here in my gold version, where today I'll be doing a bonus team member for our gold shiny badge quest, being a shiny Charmander from a 1 in 64 egg. Now for those who aren't aware, shiny egg hunting in second gen is a tad scuffed compared to later generations. Because shininess is based off of the DV values of the Pokemon, and only certain DV values can be inherited from the parents, Shiny egg odds are only ever 1 in 64, 1 in 128 are impossible to be shiny. And the impossible case comes from a set of parents who cannot pass down a set of DVs that would warn a shiny Pokemon. So unfortunately, you can never really hunt egg Pokemon at the full odds. I'm not as familiar with 1 in 128 shiny odds and how they work against something with the DV values of the parents. However, if you breed with any shiny Pokemon, as long as one of the parents is shiny, the odds will be 1 in 64, which is really, really cool. The shiny parent I'm going to be using today is actually a shiny Ditto. Now, I didn't really find this Ditto legitimately. There's an exploit I did a couple years ago, like right before I was even Gen 3 Hunter, where you can trade over the red Gyarados and interact with a Ditto in the Pokemon Mansion. You can get a free shiny Ditto. So that's my shiny parent here. I'm not using my shiny Charizard because I didn't want to artificially raise its level in the, uh, in the daycare for whatever reason. Lastly, guys, I want to come back to what I just said there about hunting full odds eggs. There is actually a recent exploit. I don't think it was discovered by Natome, but Natome has a great guide on how you can set it up using that um, TM17, I believe, arbitrary code execution to generate eggs that can be huntable at the full odds. Um, I won't be doing that. I already found my arbitrary code Charizard. For me, if I can recall correctly from you know previous experience, I'm not a huge fan of hunting eggs in this game. For whatever reason, it just feels very long and you know, long-winded and the route's kind of weird. You're constantly running to like the Lass and Goldenrod. So you run to a wild Pokemon, going inside the house to get the egg. Um, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but I wanted to do this because I wanted to have a legitimate shiny Charmander. But anyway, guys, um, I will catch you when Charmander decides to shine, hopefully relatively quickly. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to be too excited when I find it, but it's still going to be cool to have a, a shiny Charmander. But anyway, guys, see you soon. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Shiny, uh, shiny Charmander. There we go. After 16 eggs. Whew, guys, God, I'll t I'll t I was not a fan of that hunt. That was brutal for me for whatever reason. Only 16, which is what, like one quarter odds of, uh, of 1 in 64. So like close to what, 1 in 248. All right, here we go. Shiny Charmander. Let's take a look. Ch Charizard. Purple Charizard, back to the Charmander. Very good. Love the shiny guys. That was not my, uh, not my favorite hunt in the world for whatever reason. That felt like a real slog for me. Um, guys, you know what? I'm gonna make a really quick cut here. I am not 
am I recording my, let me just save real quick. Am I recording my game audio? All right, I'm gonna make a really quick cut um, as I save. I'll be right back with the official showcase. Alrighty, guys, we are back. Let's take a look at our egg Charmander. <laughs> guys, this is actually the second time I'm recording this. I ran into a wild Rattata and it knocked out my Charmander, so let's not do that this time. <laughs> Scratch, Growl, Fire Punch, Dragon Breath. I think it is so cool that um, we are able to have Dragon Breath in this gen on Charmander. Really makes the shiny purple Charizard feel that much more special because it can't learn Dragon Breath in third gen with the black color. All right, let's avoid this grass because I got knocked out in a recording that will not be aired. <laughs> anyway, guys, I think Charmander should fail, fare a little bit better here. But really excited to have this, you know, I gotta be totally honest, and there's a normal Paris, so let's just quickly do our Fang here. Shiny Charmander. It's like the exact sprite as Ruby Sapphire Emerald, the same exact back sprite. Really cool to have this shiny, really cool to have both a shiny Charmander, which is more legitimate, and then cool to have a shiny Charizard, which is more full odds. Um, again, like I've said this entire lot, we're gonna we're gonna level up twice here, we might. We're gonna get some moves on him. I think he'll, he learns Ember at level 7, I think, too. But it's really cool to have both these Pokemon. Um, I will say, and I really need to stress this enough, and I said it during the reaction, um, and it wasn't hyperbole, I actually think this, I would rather do full odds egg breeding in Emerald than breed one in 64 eggs in um, in second gen. For some reason, I don't know what it is, it is so exhausting to, you know, it takes a while for, for the egg to be, you know, bred, and that's probably because I'm breeding a Ditto with a Charizard. Probably should have used, you know, the same species from different games, so it's the max egg rate. But the egg, route, egg rate felt very slow, the hatch rate felt extremely slow. Everything about it just felt really not ideal, but I'm still really stoked to have this. Um, hats off to anyone who's done like a 1 in 64 egg hunt and it's gone over like 200. Like that is, that is really, really heck. I think someone on my Twitter commented that they were doing a Snorlax and they got it in 204. I'll give you, I'll put it on the screen right now. Uh, I, I, top of my head, I'm blanking on who it is, but that takes a lot of, um, you know, mental patience. <laughs> And I said in the intro, you know, there is a way to hunt full odds eggs. I probably pinged it. I'm not really editing. I'll probably edit later. Here's the ember. Uh, did we learn ember? I'm probably just going to reset, to be honest with you. Um, but you can hunt full odds, and the tome has a great guide on how to do so. I don't think I will ever do that. Um, hats off to anyone, you know, the one in 64 eggs. And also the, you know, I, th I think I just saw it's Cabbage and Egg Hatcher James who have found a shiny full odds Togepi. That, and they, you don't even have access to the bike when you can hatch one. That takes a lot. <laughs> and I know there's an exploit for cloning the Togepi, but it is not easy to hunt full odds eggs in, the, in these games. But anyway, guys, maybe I'll do one more. I'll, I'll use Dragon Breath. I, um, I don't have a gym battle for this. Again, I, I didn't want to make this its own... Um, Pokemon where we show it off in a gym um, just because it's like a, a duplicate and also it isn't full odds and we'll do Dragon Breath. Debating on which one I should use on my team if I should use the more legitimate one in this Charmander or I should use the ACE arbitrary code executed Charizard um, because that was full odds. Leaning towards the Charizard also because I don't really want to evolve the Charmander. I guess I could also patch just another one. It's also one of the reasons why I don't I don't like to method hunt or you know hunt at lower odds. It just doesn't feel as exciting for me personally. Not that there's anything wrong if you do that. Just for me, it's not as exciting. Did I even use Dragon Breath there? I am not even paying attention. I'm dragging this on, guys. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I swear I'm not doing that on purpose. Last one. Regular Charmander or regular Caterpie. Charmander. Shiny Charmander. Let's go ahead and use Dragon Breath and let's call this a video. So anyway, guys, I'll throw it over to Stadium 2. Next, we'll take on Espeon, and I think uh, I'll probably do that. Um, I'll probably take a little bit of a break from Gen 2 just to get some more Gen 3 videos on the channel. Um, we'll do Espeon next. And, uh, and yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. I'll throw it to uh, Stadium 2 now. Thank you.